Because it's a new game, we're gonna go ahead and start it anyway. I'm gonna, you know what, I'm gonna leave the music on. I'll leave the music on this time. Because it's a quiet game. Yes, thank you. <laughs> Whatever, dog. Alright, here it is. Alright, here we go. We are Olivia Pierce. Okay. We're gonna age. We got a new heirloom. Don't care. Toy time. A little girl that you are playing with picks up your favorite stuffed animal. What will you do? Let her play with it. Play together. Refuse to let her play with it. Or give it back to her. Or give it to her. Refuse. <laughs> Refuse to let her play with it. Okay. You are suffering from E. coli. New friend. A girl named Teresa wants to become your friend. She looks okay. She's not very smart, and she's not very crazy. Refuse. Oh, wait. No, that's the other one. Okay. No, do we become friends, or do we not? I do. You guys pick. Reject. Unfortunately, we have to watch ads when we play this game. So, here's the TikTok cat. Okay. You started primary school, and we have a classmate, Emogen, that wants to be your friend. She looks pretty good, she's pretty smart, and she's not very crazy. Become friends or reject? Friends. Okay. Partner in crime. All right. Integrity. You broke your parents' sprinkler system while you were playing. Do you admit that you broke it or it wasn't me? Wasn't me. All right. The family Rottweiler, Patata, died at the age of eight. She passed from old age as the years finally caught up to her. Your parents are concerned with your eyesight and take you to an eye exam. Start the test and tap the letter or number that's different from the others before the time runs out. Oh god, this is terrible. What do you mean? Oh my god. You're suffering from depression. Your class will be spending the next full week at the local zoo. Each student is picking an animal to study in advance. There are four animals left, and it's your turn to pick. Who will you choose? An otter, a baboon, a python, or a peacock? A python. Alright, that's what Green Flaming said. Dark, what do you think? That went downhill fast. Dude, I couldn't see it. Otters. Alright, so we'll do a surprise me. Because we're in a disagreement here. And it went with baboons. Something nobody picked. Alright. Bully, your classmate Zara tells you that you were stupid every day. What do you do? Do nothing about it. Report to the principal. Attack her or tell my big brother. Attack. I knew it was going to be attack. What is your move? You remember the choices. Just name what you would do and just i'll put it in what are you going to attack this this little girl with skull yeah but what what are you gonna throw at her skull punch and kick her so we could do right hook scratch punch grab pinch headbutt slap spit claw twist squeeze or flick Roundhouse. Roundhouse isn't in here. So we'll punch her skull. Right hook her skull. Okay. You delivered a right hook to the bully's skull, then you speared her spleen, leaving her sullen. 
You have been convicted of assault and sentenced to one year at a juvenile detention center. You have been forced to drop out of primary school. Good job, guys. We managed to get kicked out of school and go to juvie. Doing fantastic. Where'd that skip button just go? Where'd the skip button just go? The skip button was there. Where'd it go? Uh, what? Oh no, we're not doing all that. There we go. Okay. I don't like that either. Okay. Uh, ta -ta -ta -ta. Done with cell. You have been released from juvenile detention. You're starting primary school. Unfriended. Your friend Emogen has unfriended you. What do you do? Try to salvage. Let her go. Insult her one last time. Okay. Done for good. You called Emogen a fool. But she was walking out of the door. You are no longer suffering from depression, though, so that's, that's perfect. Your father passed away at the age of 52. He died from a methamphetamine overdose. Methamphetamine overdose? Jesus, Isaiah Pierce? What the hell? Skip it. Alright. Your mother is suffering from constipation. You're going to secondary school. You're looking at extracurricular activities. Do you want to or do you not want to do athletic stuff? Or, I'm sorry, extracurricular stuff. Skip it. Okay, all right. Not interested in that. You're suffering from depression now. Your mother has married your new stepfather, Hunter. Well, that was quick. Hunter Air Arnold, a 48 year old family physician. Well, we know where she met him. Then they went to the Elephant Festival for their honeymoon. Now that you have a stepfather, you're wondering how you will address him Dad, Mr. Arnold, Hunter, or Buddy? Buddy. Hey, Buddy. Hey, buddy. Okay, we have a uh, we have a, a toss up here. Surprise me, Dad. I wouldn't. It's time to take your driving test. Will you take it? All right, we're gonna take the test. What does this road sign mean? Multi turn ahead, T intersection, or look both ways. I have no idea what this sign means. I'm gonna be honest with you. Look both ways? Does it really? You failed your driving test. What does that sign mean? Uh, you read online about a Texas mom who infiltrated a middle school and intended... Okay, we read this yesterday. The news makes you wonder what, where else moms could be trying to infiltrate. We said TikTok yesterday. Do you want to do, do a different one? TikTok again it is. Okay. Your classmate, Taylor, has been graffitiing the school and keeps blaming it on you. What do you do? Attack her? Okay. What are we gonna do? We're gonna lick her groin? I don't think so. What the f type of option is that? What type of attack is that? Definitely going to jail for that one. Claw. Where's her target? Her skull. <laughs> Everything about the skull. You clawed the bully's skull. You've been sent to the principal, Mr. Slater. Ooh. Saved by the bell. Uh, office for fighting, what do you do? Insult him. Are you sure you want to insult the principal, Mr. Slater? Are you sure that's what you want that's what you want to do? Yep. You called the principal, Mr. Slater, skeezy. I'd rather be there than with you. The principal, Mr. Slater, gave you after-school detention. 
Your mother is arguing with you because she received a phone call from the principal, Mrs. Later, about your behavior earlier in school. What will you do? Argue back or apologize? Argue. Shut up. You reamed your mother. You guys are making this girl's life hard as hell. Okay, I don't care about King's Throne, a game of lust. Okay, your big brother Jesse moved out. You graduated from secondary school. What will you do now? It's her, Olivia Pierce. It's a female character. Look for a job? All right. What are we going to go for? The, just say something, because there's a whole bunch of shit on here, and it's probably... Look at a foot model one. The worst job. A baker. Crime scene. Lobbyist. Most expensive? Alright, you said baker. I saw baker. Let's do... Apprentice Baker. Apply. Interview. While being interviewed for the Apprentice Baker position at the Wade Company, you were asked the following. Do you handle conflict well? If it were up to me, I'd say no. I'm a, gr I'm a great at... I am great at conflict resolution. I'm always ready for a battle. Yes, I'm assertive, but gentle. And I think I can... Ready for battle? You want to say ready for battle. Okay, so Dark says, I think I can handle, but Flaming saying, ready for battle. All right, surprise me. You were not offered the job because you were always ready for battle. Letting you know that. Okay. You just finish using the toilet when you notice that your urine has an orange color to it. You can't help but seem to pee without experiencing a burning sensation. What do you do? Drink a smoothie. Go to the doctor. It doesn't bother me. Drink a smoothie? Oh my god. Okay, so you can apply to the university, get a job and said, enlist in the military, or take some time off. What are you doing? Okay, what are we what are we doing? Job? <laughs> Alright, what are we going for this time? You guys are killing me. Olivia Pierce is having a terrible life over here. A worm picker. The hell is that? A clown? A janitor? Is a janitor on here? I don't see janitor. Wow. I'm looking. There's housekeeper. Close I can get to, uh... Jander's housekeeper. While being interviewed for a housekeeper position, you were asked the following question. Do you prefer to be liked or to be right? I'd rather be right, both, neither, or I'd rather be liked. Liked? What do you say? Uh, Jana was right there. Bro, my bad. My bad. What do you say, Flaming? What's up? Liked? All right. I'd rather be liked. There it is, you're a perfect fit. Mm, stupid. Ads. Skip. Where's the button? Jesus. Alright. Dude, play that game. I'm not gonna play that game. Ever. Your big brother Jesse wants to take a take you climb the neighbor's tree. Will you go with him? Will you go with your brother, Jesse, to climb a tree? Argue with him. You reminded your big brother, Jesse, for 
or you reprimanded your big brother Jesse for trying to take you to climb the neighbor's tree. Your mother is suffering from an itchy bottom. While enjoying a dinner party at your friend's house, someone points out what friend? We don't have any. You find out today is National Urban Spice Day. The discussion turns into a thought you've been in. You thought experiment asking if you could use one herb or spice for the rest of your life, what would it be? Chili powder, garlic, salt, or pumpkin spice? Chili powder, I feel like that would be good, but garlic. I would, I think it'd be garlic or salt. All right, we're going to go ahead and uh, random roll this one. All right. Chili powder was the answer. All your friends are joining YouTube. What do you do? Do you stay away from it or sign up? Sign up? All right. You are suffering from anxiety. At the company holiday party, a coworker tells you the eggnog has been spiked with rum. Will you drink it? I'll have a soft drink or where's the ladle? Are you trying to get shit face or are you just, where's the ladle? You've been axed from your position. They say it's because you say that's what she said too much. Do you insult him? Do you wish him well or beg to stay? Insult him. Oh, I knew it was coming. You called your superior or supervisor daft on the way out. You daft fool. Now boarding. Jeff Bezos and I. Okay, so this was the spaceship. If you can launch one person up in the sky, who would it be? I gotta go. Bye, dude. All right. Hey, be good, Brotato. Be good, Dark. I'll catch you later, Brotato. Have a good night, dude. Logan Paul. Yep. <laughs> You're suffering from anxiety. Again. Your mother is, has a friend who works at Bossom Supermarket, and you can get you there as a apprentice grocer. Do you take it, or that's not for me? Take the job. Perfect fit. Damn it. Freaking these ads, man. Where's the axe? All right. Boom, boom, boom. Ad. Okay. Uh, all your friends are joining Twitter. Are you joining Twitter? We didn't join Twitter yesterday. Should we go? Should we do it? I feel like we should do it this time. Like, sign yeah, we should sign up for Twitter. Stay away? Damn. Okay. You are feeling very strong homosexual tendencies. You've become to realize you are being drawn to big boobs instead of induces stirrings below. Are you gay, bisexual, straight, or you're not sure? Well, I mean... It's really up to her, right? To decide? I mean, we are her, so... I guess if you feel that way, you could be not sure and just, like, do it and then be like, oh, yeah, no, I'm totally not, you know? But you wouldn't know unless you did it, right? Am I wrong? I don't know. I, you know what? I'm, I'm going to leave it to you. I don't know. I, I would say I'm not sure. At this point. <sighs> Play me! I'm going to say I'm not sure. Okay. While shopping at the uh, toy store, a mariachi singer approaches you and offers you to pay $5,200 to take a parcel to Ecuador. What the hell is a parcel? 
the Ecuador. I mean, I'm I'm down. For sure, I need money. <laughs> You're being arrested by the police. One of the police officers that he sincerely hopes that you get your life back on track. Oh, we're going to prison for drug drug trafficking. Oh, so he was telling us to take drugs to Ecuador. Do I run for it? Cooperate, try to bribe, or flirt? Flirt. Okay. You flirted with the police officers, they ignored your efforts. You've been charged with drug trafficking, facing seven years in prison. What's up, maniac? How you been, man? Which local f law firm do you hire? It's going good, bro. Tell you how you been. It's going pretty good. Just playing this weird game. Did I let oh no, I picked the wrong one. I'm sorry. The judge has asked you to make a plea surrounding your charge for drug trafficking. If you plead guilty, you may receive a shorter sentence than if you are convicted in trial. How will you plea? Of course I'm still in the clan, maniac. I am doing it up, Rotano. Guilty, not guilty, no contest. Okay, we'll make his life hell. Or her life hell, I guess it would be. Uh, we're gonna, uh, not guilty. And we're guilty. And we're convicted. And we're going to prison. Uh, actually, you just missed it. We were on it a minute ago, Rotato. We were literally just on it. We we're checking up on everything. I'm upgrading my uh, what was it? My my armor, my army field bases thing. Suffering from pneumonia. During your time in prison, you observed a lot of prisoners come in, come in decent and sober, and leave as hardened drug addicts. What do you do? Challenge a broken system. Encourage new inmates to stay clean. Do nothing. Challenge the broken system. You're receiving some mail. He sent you a Starbucks gift card. Return to sender. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make his his life terrible. That's what you want, right? When the workshop, you bump into a fellow prisoner named Tender Alexandra, who is busted for aggravating aggravated twerking. So that, that's not a thing. There's no way that's a thing. Attack her. Yes. What are your thoughts about reacting to videos? I I always I, sometimes I do it. It depends. Like I'll do it on my YouTube channel quite a few times. I'm gonna bite her face. <laughs> your sentence has been extended by two years for assault. <laughs> Jesus, man. Suffering from bunions. Your mother passed away. She died sleeping peacefully. You can't attend the funeral because you're in prison. Okay. But she left you a huge fortune. Hey. Uh, you were up for parole and have been put in front of the parole board. They ask you the following question. Do you think you'll struggle to readjust the society? Readjust this. You've been denied parole. This is what you wanted, right? You wanted to see how bad it could get? Encounter while in the canteen, you bump into a fellow prisoner named Zoe who has been busted for cockfighting attacker. Yes. I'm gonna pound her forehead. You've been released from prison! Hey! After I just pounded a chick's forehead against, I guess I'm going. <laughs> okay. Your big brother Jesse wants to take you skiing. Argue with him. You scolded him. You have an opportunity to attend a pool party one of your friends is throwing. What do you do? Go fully clothes? Go in a fashionable new swimsuit? Or stay at home and read? I'll let you guys pick this one. What do you guys want for this one? What are we doing? Swim. Alright. Swimsuit. All your friends are joining Twitter. Once again. Are we joining Twitter? Twitter? Alright. Hey guys, so oh just my to God. Let you know about this new 
out that I discovered called Misplay. So basically yeah, what it does I have Misplay on my phone. Games depending on your tastes and all you have to do Misplay actually is a good is it's a good app if you guys don't have it. You're, you're no longer suffering from depression. Your life is just crumbling around you, so it's okay. You're no longer suffering from anxiety, but your life is still crush, uh, crumbling around you. I don't understand. You just observed a troubadour call your big brother Jesse a nerd. We already know. Attack. What did you say? Uppercut. What, what are we going to do? Squeeze, lick, punch, headbutt. Poke, pinch, slap. What are we doing? I knew attack was coming. Whenever attack is an option, I know that you guys want to attack. Roundhouse kick. Where's the target? Okay. You tried to roundhouse kick him, but you missed. You just woke up with an extremely sore throat. What will you do? Okay, we're going to go ahead and chuck some water. An insurance telemarketer calls you and claims that you can get a great deal on health insurance. Sign up. Your friend is ridiculing you for not having a job. Argue with her. Your friend, you are, uh, you know what, I'm gay. Your friends invite you to get drunk on a boat with them. Meet you at the dock. Love interest. While well, the gym you meet, while well, this chick goes to the gym, right? Crazy. While well, at the gym you meet a grandmother from Russia named Christina. Nope. You've been feeling very negatively lately and want more positive in your interactions with others. What will you do? And now you have to do a good one. There's no bad ones you could pick. No bad ones. Laugh. Your friend is a friend who works at the weight company and can get you a job there as a housekeeper. You remember that job? We already had this job, but apparently we can get it back. No. Nope. Alright. While on your walk, you witness a DJ slanging drugs. Slanging. Drugs on the street. Look the other way, call the police, try to intervene. I think I know where this one is going. Yep, I knew it. Ow. The DJ lunged at you. He fractured your larynx and he popped your thumb. Fight back. What's our move? What is our move? I knew this was coming. I know we're fighting, believe me. I'm just asking what the move is. Headbutt his what? Hopefully we can connect on this hit, right? Because that would be wonderful. If we can't land this hit, his fate. You missed. You know, for, for this guy fighting all the time, he's a really bad fighter. Alright, let's see. While on a walk, you encounter a hooker whistling at you. What do you do? Solicit, argue, attack, or ignore? That's a good question. What do you do? I kind of want to know. Your attack. I knew it. What is your move? This is Mortal Kombat. This is bit Mortal Kombat. 
or middle combat li mortal combat life uppercut uppercut and what is the target her jaw you delivered an uppercut to the hooker's jaw you put her into a rear naked choke until she went unconscious she called the cops on you you're getting arrested for assault flirt bribe run cooperate You gotta know every single time we're fighting, somebody's calling the cops, bro. Run for it. You were called by the police while attempting to run for it. You have been charged with assault and running from the police and facing six years in prison. Let's get Ed Griffin for us. Okay, we'll get right in hall. And we're gonna go with guilty. We got five years instead of six. I have itchy bottom. Your stepfather has passed away in 92. He died of natural causes. Can't, can't go because we're in prison. <laughs> we now have depression again. A group of prisoners are snorting crushed up caffeine tablets because the com commissary is out of coffee. I'll snort that. You've been released from prison. I feel like if I do the worst thing in prison, I'll get out of prison. On your way to the airport, a Russian hacker calls, calls you... Oh, okay. Attack. They already know. And I'll tell you what. We're going to... Kick. We're going to kick his throat. You kicked his throat, then you tickled his torso, causing him to pee his pants. He called the cops on you. What are we doing this time? Because the cops are back. <laughs> We're gonna bribe him. Uh, how much are we gonna bribe him? All for the bribe. You tried to bribe the police 32,000. They arrest you anywhere. Eight years. It got, um, it, it became six. What the hell's up with that guy? Come on. Okay. Uh, another roommate tells you that she would like to get to know you guys, you a little bit more intimately. Sounds comforting. Maybe another time. Get out of my face. I don't know why I ask at this point. There's a subtract the age? What? Oh yeah, there is. I guess it's so that you could redo something. We're not gonna redo. Restless leg syndrome. A fellow inmate asks if you want to get swole, baby. Yes. And wants you to take anabolic steroids. What do you do? Give me the juice, or I'm not pumped about that. Give me the juice. Your big brother Jesse has been diagnosed with cancer of the buttocks. You are suffering from vaginal dryness. Uh, you bump into a fellow prisoner named Smoke, who is serving time for vandalism or attacking, yes. We're probably gonna spit. No, we're, we're going all out. We're going backhand to her lip. You backhanded Smoke, but it missed. He charged you. She kicked our ass. You've been released from prison. See, that's what I'm talking about. Your big brother Jesse passed away. He died of complications associated with cancer of the butt. Skip it. While r out running errands, a troll calls you obtuse. What do you do? We're gonna slap his slap his mouth. 
slapped his mouth. He called the cops. What are we gonna do this time? <laughs> Literally, Olivia Pierce has gone to has gone to prison like eight times. She spent most of her life in prison. Cooperate. Uh, not enough. Okay. Guilty. Four years. When playing battleships with a humongous inmate, she tells you that bad things happen when she loses. Okay, we're going 100%. <laughs> Another prisoner calls butter ass is trying to force you to knit her a scarf with fairies on it. Attack. I'm just gonna twist her neck. He attacked you with a razor blade and sliced your tooth. Damn. How'd we die? Wow, really? Okay, hold on one second. We just we just figured it out. So uh We spent twenty three years in prison, okay? Her antics came to an abrupt halt at the age of 73, courtesy of a razor blade. Sadly, nobody attended the funeral. A brilliant young woman, Olivia squandered much of her life in jail. Friends describe her as often ratchet to individuals that caught, crossed her. She wasn't happy and she had no karma. Wow. So that razor blade killed the shit out of us, huh? Damn! Start new random life. Alright, so James Clyde will be the uh, the next one that we end up doing. Crazy. What the hell is this? Come on. And I freaking press a... Where's the button? Let me get out of this. No, I don't want to download this freaking game. Anyway. That...